Number five then, from the 2021 Higher Maths Paper 1, resource paper, six marks this time, and it's that trigonometrical formula question, the addition formula. You've got them at the front anyway, if you don't, don't remember them. So it's a standard, you'll have two triangles, so you've got two different angles, and then you define the sine and the cosine, and then some other sort of sum of those, or difference of those angles. So in this one it says, for this situation here, you've got these two right-angled triangles joined their hypotenuse there to form that quadrilateral. You have to determine the value of the sine of P and the cos of Q in part A for three marks. So that's just basic trigonometry. Well, the first thing you'll need is the hypotenuse. So I'll put a bit of working down to the side here. I've got the two shorter sides here that form the right angle. So if I do one squared plus three squared to get 10, that means that's going to be root 10. Now that's obviously a mark, but that's going to appear here because now that, I, now that I've got that hypotenuse, I can get the sine. The sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's three upon the root 10. And that's the first mark. That was part one. Part two said, what's the cosine of Q? Well, now I've got two parts for Q, because I've now got that root 10, but I'll need this third side here. So again, I'll do another wee bit of Pythagoras. So this time it's going to be this squared. Take away that squared to get this one. So that'll be 10 minus 2 squared. That's 4, so that makes 6. So that's going to be root 6. Now root 6 gets a mark. And then you just pop it into this. So what's the cosine? The cosine's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The one next to the angle over the biggest side. So that's going to be root 6 upon root 10. You could write a big square root with 6 upon 10, but you can't leave it like that because that can be simplified. So that's the same as root 3 upon root 5, and you should be simplifying. So that's the second mark in that question. You can't leave it as 6 upon 10 because 6 upon 10 cancels. So part B, for three marks, find the exact value of cos P plus Q. Now it's saying exact value, so you don't just do inverse sine of this to get the angle P, inverse cos of that to get the angle Q. Add them together and then find the cosine, because that'll just be approximate. The exact value, that means you have to use those formulae. And the appropriate one is, but you just look up the front, it's one that goes cos, cos, minus sine, sine. Cos P cos Q minus, same again, only with sine, sine P sine Q. And then just pop them all in. You can either put them from here, or you can take them from there. Cos of P, that's this one here. Cosine means next to, so that's one upon, oops, one upon root 10. Cos of Q, that's the same as cos of Q, that's root six upon root 10, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use root 6 upon root 10 rather than this because I'm going to add, or rather subtract, a pair of fractions, so I'll need a common denominator. Sine of B, opposite, that's the 3 upon root 10. I know they were up there, but I'm just double-checking it. Because <clears throat> you didn't really need to do that bit first, did you? Well, you had to, to get the marks, but if you were just asked what's this, you would just go straight in with that. Eh, and then the sine of Q, that means opposite the Q, so that's 2 upon root 10. So we've got a common denominator of 10, root 10 times root 10 is 10. So they're both out of 10, so the answer's out of 10. This part, the numerator is root 6, and in this part, the numerator is 6, and there's not a lot you can do with that. Now the marking scheme seems to give you the first mark just for putting that down, but you're reading it from the front. The second part was for putting in the ratios, and the third part was for tidying it up. You'd have thought that would have been in here somewhere and you wouldn't have got that mark. But anyway, that's what it said there. So you got one mark just for copying it from the front. Then you get the rest of the marks from using your triangle and then a little bit of arithmetic.